I was a businessman, that's it. I had much money and, you know, this money, they, they all go for narcotics. You know, God healed me in one day when I cried to him. The power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray for people and it sets them free. Then later on we bring them teaching so that they could be strong against the temptations in future. Take the bread. Today, by the grace of God and through the help of our businessmen, we feed about 2,000 people every day free of charge. We built a center where everybody could come to as a canton and sit and hear the word of God and get, get cleansed and, uh, you know, dressed, uh, given clothing and, uh, you, know, you know, treated with medicine. So we have lawyers here who we help them do their documents, we bring them to restore them to the society. Then we find out if some of them need rehabilitation, they go to the rehabilitation center. Some of them need help, medical help, they go to the doctors. So just like that, they go to the The government and the people of Ukraine, even the ordinary people, they know us now. They know that every hopeless situation is being resolved in our church. So if people use the uh, poison the minds of ordinary people, if the government used to poison them through newspapers, articles before, now most of the people in Kiev are positive about us because they know of the work we have done. Because some of them know so they are people, their friends or relatives that have been to the church and God has helped them. So they are really positive. Most people now feel we are doing at least a good job. Sunday's church has grown to over 20,000 members. Different rehabilitation clinics have started out of this church, with more than 3,000 people being set free from drugs and alcohol addiction. Several orphanages have been set up through the activities of Sunday and his staff. Thousands of Mafia members have received Christ, their lives to be totally changed. The members of Sunday's church, the Embassy of God, have had a profound influence on the entire cross-section of society. What started out as an impossibility is now actually happening. Previous skeptic politicians and members of the Senate have witnessed the change that Sunday's work has had on society and are now frequently seen attending the Embassy of God. God started using them as our spokesman, you know. Now we don't need to talk, now we don't need to act. They are acting for us. They are the ones saying, oh, we know this man, we've been there, we know what he's doing. And through those people, God started like defending us and vindicating us. My life is relationship with God, you know, yeah, working with God. And every other thing is like a hobby to me. So if people are really hungry for God, what they should begin to look for is not the success or the growth or the achievements or the fruits of, 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 of ministry, I think they should first of all make God their God, their meat, their meal, their daily bread, their life. They should just make God, they should just uh, encircle themselves with God. That is what Jesus was trying to tell us when he said that you seek first the kingdom of God. If we can do that, we will not have problem with growth, with success, with, with achievements. He loves to give his time, he loves to give his heart, his soul, he loves to give anything that he can give to help, you know, to help people and to make the world a better place. He's very risky, he takes a lot of risk. Sometimes some are good, sometimes some are bad, but that's life, you have to risk. Uh, when I see people's lives change, it's like I'm paid by salary. It's like uh, I am comforted that it's worth doing, doing. but I'm not relax, like, relaxing just because some people's lives was changed. Each, each person I see that is changed and testifying is a push to me to make me to know that there are many others out there that need to be changed. So I'm not relaxing on that. I'm not stopping on that. I'm thinking of how many more 
are out there that need to be touched and affected.